So today is fingers crossed the last weekend of lockdown. Uh, at least in Aberdeen, hopefully. So today there's not really much to do this weekend. So I'm gonna take it as a preparation day, which is gonna probably be the theme of this video is preparation. So the plan for today is to get the flat back in shape, nip into town for a couple of things and basically gut emails, all the boring stuff and get everything back up to par really because I more or less let everything go to pot while we've been in lockdown to be honest. Okay, so I found myself just absolutely, it's middle afternoon, I'm just absolutely snacking on everything. So, I think it's time to go into town and get a bit of lunch. So it's been awful quiet today, especially in town, because usually these places are poaching when it comes to the weekend. but. For some reason it's still quite quiet, I don't know if lockdown is really affecting people's confidence but you know, it'd be nice to see a few more people out, try and get everything moving again. Just getting on with the boring stuff, getting the emails sorted out and gutted away really. So it was released, I think a day or two ago, I want to say two days ago, that gyms and swimming pools will be opening again in Scotland, which is ace. But it does mean that, potentially it does mean we're going into phase three which is ace, but also means that we're slowly returning back to normality, which I cannot wait for. But I thought I would start doing some preparation now, just because I would quite like to go back into kind of the wider world again, but not as the status quo as it was before. I would rather go in with, you know, being prepared to actually work on goals, because I think, like a lot of people, I had a lot of time to reflect the last couple of months, and it'd be nice to actually take what you've reflected on, realize what your goals and priorities are, and just start smashing them, smashing them out now, because there's only, apart from December, which is like, uh, it's like the silly month, or silly time of the year, because everyone's just hustling and bustling for Christmas time, so to me, September, October, November, there's three months left to try and get into 2020 what I want out of it. Yeah, so for carrying anything out, whatever the kind of goals are, there's all, I always think there's three sections to it. There's the idea itself that you come up with, there's the preparation for carrying it out, and then there's the physical carrying it out. So think about it, plan it, act on it. And once that's done, stuff starts to align a bit better. So if you have the idea down and you've got the planning down, all that's left is waiting for that moment to actually take advantage of it. So with only three months left, I feel like if I do it all now, then it makes it much easier to try and fit in with everything else going on. Anyway, this evening is glorious, so I'm going to do some time lapses. If you can see that, kind of looks all right, a bit overexposed here, but yeah, it looks good. I'm going to do some time lapses on it, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah. 